on demand. Welcome back, everybody. The hot spot continues right here on YouTube, on Facebook Live, and on KUM TV 8. I'm Jason Salas, and it is no big secret. In fact, it's probably the worst kept secret that Guam has an insane amount of talented dancers. It's part, it's part of our culture, it's part of our DNA to express ourselves through dance. And the Stargazers Dance Troupe just returned from stateside competition where they represented the 671 big time and really cleaned up. So I have here Mark Gonzalez, who is, should we say, Mark, the proprietor, the impresario, the, the, the man with the plan, the, the master of puppets? You know, because everybody's into that song now from Metallica <laughs> because of uh, Stranger Things. But what, what, is, what is your role in Stargate? First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank well you. deserved. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm the director and choreographer, basically. Okay. So I've been doing it over 30 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've been I did it ever since I was uh, 13 years old. And you are a Stargazer alumni yourself. Alumni myself, yes. Very, very, very impressive. <laughs> okay, now as I was saying, you know, like uh, everybody knows that Guam's um, Guam's connection with dance. I mean, it, you know, mm -hmm. whether you're uh, Chamorro, Filipino, um, you come from other parts of the world and everything. You bring your own way of expressing yourself through the creative arts, and <laughs> this always culminates in in individual dance, dancing as a team, dancing as a unit. Uh, talk about some of the categories that these competitions, you know, that were featured and, and how Guam just like did so very well. Okay, so basically in any, almost every competition in the States, there's, there's hip hop category, there's mm -hmm. lyrical, contemporary, you know, they even have tap, um, everything from modeling. Even the classic one, like yeah, jazz and tap. Jazz, and, yeah, wow. so, but see, Stargazers, more than likely with my style, we focus more on contemporary, lyrical, hip hop, mm -hmm. and jazz. So what we did, of course, I try to bring everybody in to hit every level. It just so happened that in every level, they won first place in every level. And not only that, they even took the overall honors, honors for the top, overall high score go big or go home like we say and, <laughs> yeah. and we and we did go over there and you know guam, guam has a history of this because i was very very fortunate when i was a youth to be in uh part of the rotc units mm. who would go over and represent guam in the drill meets over there yeah. and we always represented well so i mean th there is a lineage of this kind of thing mm -hmm. well because you know i think when you go back there it's it's just so normal for them you know it's something that they do for their regular lives like mm. they have dancers that train every day they they practically train more in dance than they actually go to school, right? They all, mm. the majority of them are homeschool. So coming from Guam, we have that, that, that thing where, you know, it's something is our passion is something that we love to do. So mm -hmm. coming together and then going stateside and representing the Island, it means a lot. So mm -hmm. when we go there, we like what I tell them, I don't want to see a hundred percent. I want to see 150%. There you go. There you go. And then it, it shocks everybody because all eyes are new because they don't know where Guam is. A lot of them don't know where Guam is. Mm -hmm. So then you come in and everybody's like, well, who's this new group, right? And then so when it's so cool because when, when you compete, everyone's just watching. Everyone's just watching. Mm -hmm. And then pretty soon along the way, you have your own fans. You have all of them just cheering for you. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's, we, we, we meet new people. We meet new friends. And of course... We let them know what Guam is all about, and uh, I'm, I'm yeah. sure. I mean, mm -hmm. I was, and uh, I mean, looking at these pictures and everything like that. You know, the performers that we sent over there, obviously, very, very happy to be there. But they seem like you know they're, they're all moving as one unit, one heartbeat. Mm -hmm. um, they're and right there. They've got the great seal of Guam there. They obviously mm -hmm. are aware of the fact that they are representing a community much larger than just themselves. Exactly. So, like what I said, when we go there. We're not only representing stargazers or ourselves, we're representing Guam. Mm -hmm. But then and you tell the, them that too. Yeah, directly. exactly. Yeah. And, and at the same time, as though we say, if one fails, we all fail. Mm -hmm. So we all work really hard that that doesn't happen. Okay, now, yeah. now, now <laughs> let me ask you, and I think this is a perfect testament to okay. you, Mark, and your leadership and your guidance that you would continue the tradition of making sure that we as Guamanians put in hard work and then we execute well. But also, you know, we're. We're very, very humble and we're respectful. So when other troops are performing, I'm sure the Guam contingent was all, you know, cheering them right on. It's not like, yeah. okay, let's go out and do our thing and then we're just going to sit back. Oh, and no, see, see, and I think that's what makes us so unlikable mm -hmm. over there is because we bring our hospitality um, values there. We are sh uh, showmanship of respect. The half day spirit. And the half day spirit. So every time when we compete, we always get the Studio Spirit Award. Mm 
is known to be the studio to be most respectful to the staff, to other dancers, and make friends. So basically, we cheer for everybody. Mm -hmm. We don't only cheer for ourselves. In the backstage, we're like, break a leg, good job, you know. And then people get to like you. And, they, and then mm -hmm. um, when we go to these different competitions, the competition gets so surprised because they never have a dance group that would come in and be like friendly to everybody, even though it's a competition where right. everybody's bickering in the back. But we, we just... We're very chill. There's, there's no <laughs> such thing in Guam dance groups as Atambaba, right? You don't no, like, no, no, no. You don't give everybody the side eye and everything like oh, that. No. You're ve yeah, We're very, very supportive. supportive of each yeah. other. Yes. Okay. I got to ask you, Mark, before you left on your trip, and now, of course, you know, like, you know, we, we, we shoot for the moon and we said, you know, we're not sending you over there to the States just to compete or just to represent Guam. We're going there to put on a good show and we're going there, hopefully, to, to win. Mm -hmm. So... I'm assuming that you went to our friends over at Macy's and you bought like what 19, 20 different like luggage so that you could bring back all the trophies. And... <laughs> well, what happened? How many additional pieces of pieces of luggage did you have no. to have to carry so, all that hardware? So um, every year when I leave, I have this thing where I have this big, huge luggage. I I only put all my clothes in one little thing. So um, what when we, we get all those trophies, we screw it all. We we tear them apart. We screw them apart. Mm. Fit in one luggage. Then we come back, then we screw it all back together again. And then you have to pay for the extra weight, like on the plane. Exactly. But, but it's well worth it. I it's mean, well worth it. A lifetime it. of pride. It's, it's, it's like bringing home 15 trophies. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, I don't want to leave it there. Right. You know, so, yeah. Um, and we, you know, we, we all help each other out. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. of course, you know, like, um, I know you're the first one to say, you know, like, it's not about you. You give the praise to the, to the dancers, um, you know, who establish mm -hmm. that camaraderie with each other, that sense of, you know, of family and again you know we're showing these amazing pictures you know with the with the hardware i mean i'm just so proud to see you know kids having this opportunity and be able to capitalize on it mm -hmm. um so can we talk about like what the age range were of the dancers who competed and you know you were talking about categories but you know who were the people that went over there okay so basically um normally i would bring my older groups right mm -hmm. like you know the more um seasoned dancers it's like high school level or high school level and up and then um I decided to do something different this time to bring the two to six year olds to bring the seven to eight because there's a category for them for first timers mm. but at their age so they two go to six year olds yeah i hope you brought some aspirin too <laughs> <laughs> but they did good actually the two to six year olds were the one in their whole category were the only one that got a platinum score wow so automatically you already knew that they were going to take the overall title mm. And, and if you know anything about precious metal, is platinum is way above gold. So that's yes, yes. that's and, rare air. And then um, then the seven to eight, it was their first time competing, and some of them was even the first time to be in the states. So it's oh wow, it, yeah, a lot of them actually. So that's why they take this opportunity. That's why I said when we fly, there's over like almost a hundred of us, because families go along to take you know advantage of the trip to cheer for mm -hmm. our kids, and the same time to be to travel to actually ride the to be in the mainland for the first time. So let me get let me get this number correct, Mark. So there were 18 total dancers, not including yourself, right? 18 dancers. Yeah. But the contingent that Guam sent over was almost 100 people. Correct. That and, is amazing. And not, well, that one flight, but then there was other families that flew ahead. Mm -hmm. So we were over 200. So I'm assuming that's that's not only <laughs> mom and dad, that's also grandmas, sisters and brothers, ninas. grandmas, ninas, ninos, you know. Yeah, and then people from the States, people from the States, family members, they all flew in to support Star Of course. Yeah. So. Did people like in the crowd? Did they also have like the Guam flag that they were waving, or did they have like little, you know, little mm -hmm. pennants? And they had they had Guam flags. Mm -hmm. You know, our team. <laughs> what, did, what did that mean for for the young people to be able to see probably people that they've never met before, but just to see and really get a sense of wow, these people are here supporting me, a total stranger, just yeah. because we have the same roots and and you know we're from the same place. Well, it's it's overwhelming. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's 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 very um, it feels really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It feels really good to know that, you know, people that didn't even know about Guam and here they are cheering for Guam mm -hmm. and appreciating your work. And a lot of people want to say, why don't we go to Guam to take your dance classes? Exactly. You know, and then I got offers to go teach in their, their studios. So uh, it's it's fun. It's it's more about the kids. To me, it's, exactly. it's, it's an experience that's something they can take for a lifetime and they'll never forget. It's a, it's a stepping stone for them to build their character, their self-esteem, their self-motivation. Mm -hmm. and, and when they step out in the real world, it's part of competition. You compete. Mm 
Yeah, they've learned work ethic. They've learned. They've learned team cohesion. They um, dedication. Preparation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and uh, these are life lessons that you have instilled in them directly. So you're know, like, and to I you. always tell them that, you know, we fail. We, we're gonna. There's times that we might fail, but it's okay. Just get up. Apparently and Apparently not going. this time because you guys. It was a <laughs> No, Green not sweep across the board. I'm just like saying I don't. Um, when we go there, we're not. We we want to win. Okay. But I don't mind coming back home losing, knowing that we did our very best. That's right. Okay. And we should be proud, regardless of what. Okay. So now the other experience <laughs> that, that these um, young people take away from them too is let's talk about the trip itself, right? Okay. The commute, the places they visited, the food they got to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, the the things they saw. What was like? Okay. Well, for like? one, it's hard because you're in the East Coast, or you know, where are we at? There's hardly rice. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rice, so we're go all we eat is from In and Out Burger and all that stuff. And um, did you guys go to Five Guys? No, we didn't. Ooh, Five Guys is no. good. No. Next time. But when we went to, so basically when we all go there, we all fly together. Um, it, long, long flights, long yeah. flights, traveling. And then right when we get there, of course, bus rides and all this is traveling. And these kids are used to just going from like the Micronesia Mall to Tamuni. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It's like, ah, oh, that's a seven minute trip. And a, well, well, the fun part where, where we all look forward to is after the trip, then we all get to explore the city. Mm. We got um, people went to New York, people went to LA, people right now, there's still people there, <laughs> you know, so okay. they get that opportunity to visit family. And um, we went to LA, we went to this, uh, we went to Universal Studios. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And then um, I was actually a driver, so it sucked, but it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up becoming a, I end up re renting a van and driving all these kids. Where do you guys want to go, guys? I, I believe it's a, the politically correct term is chaperones. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but, you know, I'll do anything to make these kids happy. All know? right. Well, you have done an absolutely amazing job. Mm. So um, finally, Mark, I want to talk about, you know, the fact that the bar has been set so high repeatedly now. Mm -hmm. um, if there are young people watching this right now or families and they're like, you know, I saw Mr. Mark on the Hotspot show he really inspired me. I think my child would like really benefit from, you know, not just the dance, but all the life lessons and, you know, the wonderful experience that, that mm -hmm. he's created. But people think they might have to be some, you know, top notch like dancer and everything like that. No. How can how can people get involved and send their kids to star Stargazers? OK, so basically we always have this. We, well, right now we're having a promo that people that want to try out. Mm -hmm. We always give free trials like they come in for a few days to see if they really like it. And then if, if it's something for them and then you can sign in. But I, I just want to say it's, it's something that the kids can do and probably they'll love, you know. Um, it's not easy. I'll tell you right now, dancing is not easy. Oh, yeah. But um, it will train them to become a very um, seasoned person. Like you go to these live trials, like don't give up, just it's part of it's part of life. What was that, what was that? I mean, you know this better than anybody because you're in dance. What was that line that they always had at the beginning of the show Fame? It's like Debbie was walking around with like the cane. She's like, "All right, this is where it starts. You're going to earn your place in here through sweat." Correct. And pain. <laughs> yeah. So, what well, we go by this saying, I'm um, trusting your training. Right. Trusting your training and um just never give up. That's and why you guys are champions. I couldn't have said it any better than that. <laughs> just trust in your training. Trust me. Trust all the the instructors. But um, hard work just pays off. That's all I can say. Absolutely. Well, and it has yeah. paid off very, very well. So, Mark, congratulations <laughs> Thank to you, you. And, the, and the Stargazer team. So I'm dropping my paper because I'm so appreciative and, and yeah. so in awe of what you guys are doing. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. Uno Go is bringing our food. We have got some amazing barbecue coming on the way. So Miss Anna is going to join us once again, as she does every uh, Wednesday. We got food coming up. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for that. And when we come back, I'm going to introduce you to a young man with Guam roots who is making some big waves in Hollywood. We're going to introduce you to Jordan Reed and what he is doing with voice work and his latest role. You guys are going to be blown away. That's coming up next. Get up to the